Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Iman Youssef. Um, I'm at the Penny Swift University, so he introduced me. So my research was uh, to uh, study and to produce novel immunization strategy against multi-drug resistance, especially gram-negative bacteria, using, uh, as I said, novel uh, antigen. So I was working in Harper UCLA, uh, as we are affiliated in, from Harper, from hospital. So our, um, our interest in our research lab was um, hospital-acquired pneumonia. So as you know, pneumonia, uh, it is a disease that affects the uh, lung uh, and the respiratory system. And it can be cured easily, but the issue is the hospitalized people are, have low immune system. So when you have a low immune system, so the bacteria can easily uh, invade you and infect you and may cause death. So you can see here in the statistics that about 33% mortality due to this pneumonia. So as I said, gram-negative bacteria is the main cause of this, uh, especially there is uh, Acetobacter pneumoniae as strain and Klebsiella pneumonia and E. coli and other uh, strains. But we are, uh, in this study, we are interested in both uh, Acinetobacter bomani and Klebsiella pneumonia. Uh, Multidrug resistance increasing day by day, and it is hard to cure, to cure the disease by the normal and traditional antibiotics. Acinetobacter bomani resistant to almost all conventional uh, antibiotics, and also Klebsiella pneumonia now possess a new plasmid that can um, be resistant to most of the um, antibiotic classes. So what is HY1? What is the novel vaccine candidate that we are interested in? So HY1, it is an abbreviation for high regulated cell surface protein. So it is a candida antigen. This antigen is um, present on the high fee of the candida. So we are, we are using a fungal antigen to treat the bacteria infection. So this is novel, right? This is, this is very weird at the beginning. But what we make us interested in doing that is that there is some um, 3D, homology, um, 3D homology between HY1 antigen and uh, OMP A antigen on the acinetobacter. So acinetobacter has antigen, OMP A, which is important in virulence of this bacteria, which is quite similar to in the 3D structure for HY1. So we got interested to know if this HY1 can be used as a passive immunization mainly in this study. So uh, in our methods, we first we uh, produce monoclonal antibody. As you all know that passive immunization means that you produce the monoclonal antibody and to treat the person with this monoclonal antibody against this kind of antigen. However, the active immunization is to give the antigen, the immunogenic antigen, and make the body do its own immunity against this antigen. So here in this study, we used the monoclonal antibody. We have the recombinant HYR1, and we use this to um, immunize mice and collect their spleen as shown here in the picture, in this diagram. So we immunize the mice with HYR1, HYR1, and then we collect the splenocyte and fuse this, fuse this with a tumor cell to produce hyperidoma, and then we uh, collect the supernatants that containing monoclonal antibodies and go through uh, purification of this monoclonal identification, characterization of these monoclonal antibodies, uh, and then testing it in the animal models against two kind of bacteria, which is Acetobacter and Klebsiella pneumonia. Um, I didn't go in details because there's a shortage of the time, so one of the main um, experiments that's important here is to know if this monoclonal antibody can recognize the cell surface of this um, bacteria, either Acinetobacter or Klebsiella or not. So it seems that yes, so here in this diagram can show that there is a, a very good binding to both Acinetobacter and 
Acinetobacter and Klebsiella pneumonia to this um, monoclonal antibody. So the monoclonal antibody can recognize the cell surface. This is binding assay. Uh, I use the flow cytometry technique and we use, uh, we use the anti FITC uh, secondary antibodies to show us this uh, binding. And then there is a lot of uh, in vitro uh, data I didn't show here, but uh, before we go to the animal um, test disease, there is uh, many, several um, in vitro uh, data that we had before we go to test this to, into the animal. So here we have two models. Uh, Sorry, during one, minute. one minute, please. One minute. One minute? Sure. So uh, we have two uh, anti, anti, uh, you have two bacteria. So we have two models. Um, I established one model for Klebsiella, and we use this model to test the different monoclonal antibodies. And here you can see that there is a very nice protection, the green one and the red one, when you administer the, the mice take administered the monoclonal antibody twice for two doses uh, versus the placebo. And also for Acinetobacter bumeni, different model. So also you can see 100% of one of the monoclonal antibodies that can protect from lethal uh, dose from um, Acinetobacter bumeni. Um, there is um, a lot of uh, future plans about this work to know what is the cross reactivity of this, why they are cross reacted with what kind of uh, antigens that cross react with. Um, in other words, so what is that this Klebsiella and this Acetobacter antigens that cross react with HR1? I started to do part of this, but the lab will cont continue this work. So uh, I'd like to thank Shore for Pride for giving me this opportunity to uh, increase my experience and to do uh, the work that I dream to do. And also, I'd like to thank the labs that I worked for one year, Dr. Abraham from Harper UCLA, and our uh, good family that uh, we had, I had, and NIH that uh, support and funds um, uh, this project. Thank you so much. Thank you.